Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD. It's been a little while since I did a video, just been getting over a cold this past week, so you guys can hear my voice is still a little bit shot going out. All good though, Bulls beat the Knicks, got their 61st victory, and more importantly, Apple showed off their new version of Final Cut Pro at NAB 2011. One of the more shocking things to me was the fact that it's going to sell for $2.99. It's going to be released this June, and you can download it straight from the Mac App Store. There's been no mention of the other studio products or Final Cut Express, so we'll have to wait and see if those get updated in the coming months before the release of the new Final Cut Pro. The new Final Cut Pro is finally 64-bit, so it's going to utilize the newer systems. It's going to run smoother, faster, and finally take advantage of more than 4 gigabytes of RAM. It'll support resolutions of video up to 4K, which is insane, and it's finally going to utilize multi-cores which not only is going to mean faster exporting but it's going to have background rendering so everything's going to be pretty much instantaneous including effects one of the biggest things about the new final cut pro there's no more waiting no more transcoding the media is ready to edit on import it's also going to analyze stabilization which is huge for dslr users so it's going to eliminate those rolling shutter problems we're also going to see people and shot detection. So people is pretty self-explanatory. It's going to organize them and detect the faces and subcategorize them that way. Shot detection is really cool. It's going to take the shots, analyze them, and actually organize them by the type of shot. So medium shot or close-up, for example. Now, obviously, Final Cut Pro is a video editing program, but some of the new audio updates got me most excited for the new Final Cut Pro. They've included automatic audio cleanup and auto syncing. So if you're recording to an external device like a Zoom H1 or H4n, for example, it's going to automatically sync that clip from the video to the audio, so you're not going to need to clap anymore. Apple summed up the new Final Cut Pro in three words, quality, organization, and editing. It's been completely rewritten from the ground up. I got to admit, it does have a little bit of an iMovie-esque look to it, but I'm still stoked and super excited and looking forward to it when it does come out. So if you guys want a complete recap, new details I haven't even covered in this video, check out the link down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you'll be picking it up. I, of course, will be once it comes out in June. Other than that, feel free to subscribe and I will catch you guys later.